Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites video and to start off I just wanted to address the obvious issue of my very grungy appearance and probably very obviously swollen face. Um, I got my wisdom teeth pulled on Friday and it is today Monday. Um, but we also just moved so between wisdom teeth getting pulled and moving I just don't have a ton of energy and also meds and everything so to uh, do a whole bunch of makeup but I really wanted to make it a goal for especially this month starting this month off right and really staying on top of uploading videos and actually doing this so I only have a little bit of makeup on today I hope you don't mind too much I hope I'm easy enough to understand I know I'm slurring a little bit because it's hassle on my faces but I'm gonna go ahead and get started and go over my favorites for the month of October so my first favorite has been the EOS Lip Balm in Sweet Mint. It has been my favorite. I've already used quite a bit of it. Um, I own almost all of the EOS flavors, and this one's just been... I've been gravitating towards it this month because I like minty lip balms. So my next favorite is a brush set I got from BH Cosmetics. It is the Pop Art brush set, I believe. Um, it is a 10 brushes, and it comes in a little brush cup as well. Um, but you five face brushes and five eye brushes, including a spoolie. Oh goodness, dropping things. I did just wash them so they are damp, but like powder brush. They're small travel size brushes, but I found them really handy this month since I had pretty much everything I needed so I could pack away the rest of my brushes early enough to not have to worry about it. But I really enjoyed this set this month. Um, they're all super soft, super work really well. The only thing I feel like this is missing is a good uh, flat shader brush, but I have one from e.l.f. that I was using with it that's about the same size brush handle wise that fit in there in the little brush cup. Set those off to the side to dry. Um, and the little brush cup it comes in is adorable. Uh, I know it's out of stock on their site right now, but it says it's going to restock later this month, and I'm considering getting um, a couple of those for a couple of friends of mine that are really into makeup as well. Um, my next favorite is a uh, blush. This one is by e.l.f. This was also in the makeup basket. It is Berry Mary. And it's an excellent fall, fall winter blush. Sorry, I have swatches on my hand because I just put away my makeup for the first time since I moved today. But it's a gorgeous berry shade. Um, I, it was kind of the one I went to the most this month. I gave myself like two or three blushes and I wore this one the most. Um, it's got that great shimmer in it. Very, I love the e.l.f. blushes, the two that I have. And this one just has been my favorite this month. Another favorite um, cheek product is the NYX blush, powder blush in taupe. I got this because uh, Love Heather at 2010 it says it's her holy grail contour. And I have been having a heck of a time finding a good contour color for me. It's really subtle on me because certain parts of my skin are tanner than others because I have an uneven skin tone. But I've been really loving this for a contour, and I even used it with my Halloween costume where I was Andy Beer Sack. Um, yet another favorite has been the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. This is the mini size you can get in the Beauty Bloggers Darling set um, that I got at Sephora. I haven't even used this up yet, but I love it so much. I did purchase the full size when it was on sale for the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So I have the full size now to go along with it because <clears throat> I love it and I don't want to run out. Another Too Faced product I've been loving was the uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that was also in the Beauty Bloggers Darling set. It's got this big chunky wand but it really separates my eyelashes and I have naturally pretty good eyelashes. They're pretty long, pretty dark, pretty thick but I just want something to amp them up a little bit more when I do a full face of makeup and this is great. It separates them really well which is my biggest thing that my eyelashes like to stick together naturally. Um, I only gave myself one eyeshadow palette this month, this last month, and that was this NYX Every Color Imaginable palette. Um, it has 78 colors. And as you can see, it's pretty huge. Um, but I have a couple of specific favorites out of the palette. The first one is going to be this copper shade up here. I did a ton of looks with that for fall. It's super pretty and pigmented. And there it is, swatched been really enjoying that one for a good fall looks. And another one, which is on the next level down, is this green color. It's the second green down. It's super pretty as well. And I actually did, did film a tutorial with it. I just never had the chance to upload it. So I will probably upload that sometime this week, maybe next week. 
um, that I've been really enjoying doing looks with that the eyeshadows in here. Very soft and pigmented and easy to blend. Um, and I just was not giving this enough love, so I set, made this my only palette for the month, and I used the heck out of it. Um, <clears throat> my last favorite for the month is going to be this uh, lipstick. It's the Wet n Wild Fergie collection. As you can see, it's really beat up because it went in my purse quite a bit. And this is in the shade Ferguson Crest Cabernet, which I've heard is a dupe for Max Rebel. I really want Rebel, but I don't want to spend $15 on a lipstick, so I picked this up because when it was on sale at my wa local Walgreens, and this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this lip color. Um, I still will probably eventually get Rebel just because I want people to make that comparison for myself, and because I really love the way MAC lipsticks smell, and may as well, but... I really like this lipstick color. It lasts really well, and it's a great fall color. I've just loved wearing this this month. Um, I have one makeup fail for this month, which was originally the only mascara. This, the Too Faced mascara, originally was not in my makeup basket, but I decided to add it in because the only mascara I had given myself was this Pixi Lash Booster mascara, and I hate it. it no matter how hard I tried, it got everywhere on me, my eyelashes clumped up. It did either they clumped up or they didn't do anything. They looked like I hadn't even applied mascara to them. There was no point to it. So I, I hate this mascara. Um, I only still have it because I'm. I'll probably see if like my younger sister wants it because she's gotten a lot of my hand-me-down makeup. Pardon my cat. I apologize. Um, but this was not that great. So, and let's be honest. I really hated this. So. I really did not enjoy that, but I'm going to see if somebody I know wants it, and if not, I'll get rid of it. Cat. Please get down. Um, so I also have a couple of other favorites. One of my other favorites is I have officially moved. I am in a new room. Much bigger space, um, much nicer house overall. It's in better condition than the house we had been living in. Um, I still live with my mom, but my room is huge. It's technically a family room, so I have tons of space. I'm super excited to hide it. Got that. Another favorite is that I am going to be doing a full um, developing a makeup storage system on a super tight budget because I no longer have a job because of moving. Um, I'm too far away from where I was working, so I'm getting a new, we're going to have to find a new place of employment. But I'm on a super tight budget, so I'm going to be developing my makeup store using things we found during the move, and hand-me-downs, and just dollar store, and I feel like it could make for a really fun video series. So if you'd be interested in seeing that, let me know down below. I'm planning on doing it, but I'd love to see what, like, what sort of makeup storage things you'd be, you guys would be interested in seeing from me. Um, so I think that's everything I have for you guys. I hope this video wasn't too long and I wasn't too rambly babbly. Again, I am on painkillers, so I'm really kind of out of it, and the world's a little bit swimmy. Um, I also apologize for my cat being everywhere. Um, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what I can do to get better uh, and do better in future videos. Obviously, I have a lot of room to improve, but feedback is where I'm going to find my... was. I could really use any feedback I can get, so... Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!